right, so I really like Average Joe's uh, contraption with his uh, PVC holders, so I think I'm going to go ahead and replicate that and see how well it works. Um, I've got a little jig here screwed in, give me just enough to be able to have some decent sized rings, so I'm going to chop them up and see how well it works. I've got a 10 foot piece of uh, 3 quarter inch Schedule 80 that I'm going to be using and chopping up. Like I said, I really liked Average Joe's idea of using the PVC cutoffs here, so I'm going to attempt to make my own. help if I opened it first. All right, gonna let these sit up, and then when they're nice and dry, I'll go ahead. I've got one out there right now testing. I uh, went ahead and spray painted it. Um, I'm not a big fan of the writing on here. I, I guess I could have turned them, so that way only the gray was showing, but I also do like the look of the black that it's turning out to be. The only issue is they're already uh, a little snug getting in right now. And this one's got some paper, so it's not going to be able to slide in at all. I do plan on rewrapping the cells. So won't all this debris on here won't be an issue, but it's already... A nice snug fit. See that? I'm starting to peel up that wrapping there. <clears throat> um, but with the extra paint on there, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to go in and take a light sanding to it just enough so where, uh, yeah, these are getting stuck in there. See, like some they'll start peeling up that wrap so I think I will have to take a little bit of a, a sand to it just to open up Let's see, 
most, eh, that one kind of, that one ripped the, the wrap a little bit. So, yeah, that one slides in nice and easy. Hmm. Might test out. I also, I've got one around here somewhere I can play with. Um. Doesn't matter. I have a bad cell here I can open up. fit in there nice a little bit of playroom so they do fall through I don't know, I kind of like the look of that. I'll just have to experiment around and check it out. Eh, even some of the LGs are maybe a little too thick. theory is great but I don't think I'm gonna be doing this I think I will go ahead and purchase the regular cell holders it's unfortunate so I do mostly have Samsung's and with the wraps being a little too big for them that's gonna be well, of course that one that one fits no problem course yeah like right there tearing up the wrap so I do like the idea of the airflow I don't know 
maybe I'll tweak it a little bit. I know he went through and drilled out just ever so slightly on these so they would fit a little bit better, but I don't know if I want to mess with all that. All right, so I made up uh, a few of these 18650 holders had a PVC pipe and super glued them together. This one I managed to get uh, spray painted black, and I'm 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 just not having it. Uh, it's a great idea, but the time involved, the the amount of work, the, the just the money alone is enough to. Uh, go for the pre-made 18650 cells. Uh, you can get 20 of them right now on Amazon for 1071, I believe, shipped. So uh, you're looking at like 55 cents for a, uh, a 20 cell holder, and I calculated it out. Uh, one of these pipes is uh, uh, Menards has a sale on it right now, like 371 after rebate or something like that. I don't know. It's like four bucks. Uh, and I can I can make two, 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 two of these, two no, not two of these, four of these. I can make two forty cell uh, completed holders uh, for four dollars worth of pipe. Um, I went through eight tubes of super glue, little point two ounce point two gram uh, deals of them uh, so it's like two bucks right there so we're looking at like six bucks to make these not including the uh, amount of electricity that was required to use the uh, miter saw to chop all them up uh, they don't come out super even at least I didn't get them out super even um, so like the, the bottom will be for the most part flat but uh, the top you've got ridges and it, it overall quality sucks now maybe if I'm in a pinch or something this would be great if I was going to have high amp draw, it might be something I would look into at a later point. But uh, I think I'm gonna got to calculate. I think I only want to use like uh, I don't know, like 325, 333 milliamp draw per cell, so it's not going to be heating up the cells. Um, I don't know. Concept, concept is great. Actuality. Or practicality, I should say, of uh, making these, it, it, it's just not there. It's just with the price of the pre made uh, 18650 cell holders, like I said, you can get 20 for less than 11 bucks. Uh, yeah, you're gonna end up spending a lot more making these. Well, that's all for today's video. I hope you found uh, some kind of useful information out of it. I had a fun time building it, even though it just didn't work out, unfortunately. Idea is great, just too much involved in it. So, if you did like the video, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button, and I hope to see you in future videos.